So Pokemane has been back for about two days, and on the first day, she didn't have any face cam at all. And then on the second day, she debuted back with a VTuber persona. And of course, this has everyone talking about this. Everyone and their mom want to know when they can anticipate the Pokemane anime on Crunchyroll. Now, I don't know enough about that part, but I do know that this does have a giant impact on the way Twitch may be looking like in the future. For those of you that don't know, and for the degenerates that already know about this, there is such a thing as being a VTuber, where instead of using a webcam to portray yourself, you use a virtual cam in order to portray yourself as your anime persona and or fursona or other. And this can go from a variety of things. I've seen people being portrayed as dogs, cats, anime waifus, anime husbandos. You can be whatever you want in terms of the VTuber realm. Think of it as playing VR chat, but instead of playing a game, you're on stream. And instead of talking to the weirdos in game, you're talking to the weirdos on stream. And instead of doing ERP in VR chat, you're just sitting there talking to chat, saying Segoy every now and then. And you just keep doing your thing, wiggle a little bit until the rich guys on stream finish and give you some donations with the caption, Hey, thanks for a good time. I'll see you tomorrow. And this holds a lot of appeal to some people because some people, they just don't really want to show their face, but they do want to do some sort of webcam thing. And this seems to be their best appeal in order to get out there in the world with some of the finer consumers. And of course, there's also a giant market of people just looking strictly for anime cuties and stuff like that. So they got that going for them. And this whole VTuber realm has been kind of underground for a bit. I mean, it's been a growing trend lately. A lot of people are starting to do this more and more, but it hasn't been to a certain level just yet. It is popular, but not too popular, at least not in America. So for Pokemon to come back and come back as a VTuber, that brings a lot of controversy. And the reason why it brings that controversy is because this is sort of normalizing VTubers and making it more making it more applicable for people to become a VTuber rather than a regular webcam. No longer will your face have to be shown, you could just show your anime persona, right? I could finally interject myself into some of my favorite anime and get with the girls! But the reason why people are talking about it is they're afraid for what will happen later on. Will this make more people become a VTuber? If more and more people jump onto the VTuber wagon, what will happen to the actual VTuber community? You know, these are all legitimate questions. However, though Pokemon did come back using a VTuber persona, she did say that she wasn't planning to always be in that VTuber persona. She's only really going to use it on days that she doesn't want to do her makeup or days where she's having a pretty bad day and just wants to chill and not be on camera. So I can respect someone wanting to get some time off and just chill a little bit with something for those people people that are interested to watch. There's actually other Twitch streamers out there that did crack the numbers a little bit. And they did see that without their face cam, specifically female streamers, without their face cam, they lost their audience from about 15 to 20% in, in decrease. And that's a lot of heads to go bye bye. Okay, that's a lot of audience. 20%, that's a, about a quarter of your audience right there, just without a webcam for these female streamers. And to at least have something for people to watch, I mean, it seems that it helps, but it's not exactly the best, at least not right now. Again, the Westerners aren't so keen on the VTubers just yet. It is a growing trend, but I think that with Pokemon doing it, more people will be doing it. And some had already said, yeah, I'm also going to start doing VTuber things when I'm not fit for camera. And I could totally understand the stress of someone coming onto their stream, not feeling their total best and still having to have that webcam on when they don't want anyone to see them at the current moment. And it does get really stressful when you decide, hey, I don't want to do a webcam, and people start asking them, hey, why no webcam today? What's wrong with your webcam? Turn on the webcam. And it's just like, no, dude, I don't want you to jack off to my face right now, okay? You can do that later. Right now, I'll give you a VTuber so that if you're interested in the anime cuties, you can wank off to her, but you can do that to me later, right? Just makes sense a little bit. Give them that time to breathe. And I'm not really a big fan of the VTuber trend. I kind of see it as a little bit cringy from time to time. I see the appeal, but it's just not for me. It's the same thing as when people go out to like Japan or whatever to go see Hatsune Miku live in that 3D space. Like it's cool. It's a cool idea, but it's just not for me. I would much rather prefer the normal procedure for depression like everyone else does. Go out get hammered, come home, cry a little bit, 
think about my existential dread and then go to sleep rinse and repeat escaping reality is fun from time to time hell i even go watch my own animes to escape from the existential dread sometimes but i still have a beer on hand the 3d anime space is just not for me and it doesn't really seem like it's a thing for most people. I looked into Pokemane's VOD for her debut as a VTuber and it just seemed like chat didn't like it at all. At least for a while. And then once the people who were actually wanking off to some of the VTubers already noticed that Pokemane was a VTuber herself, they came in and started doing anime dances in the chat. So again, it does seem like there is an audience for this stuff. I don't really think that this thing is going to rise too much in popularity but it does seem like it's going to get somewhat of a boost, especially if she's on board, one of the top streamers for Twitch. If she's on board, more than likely, more people are going to start coming out with this as well. That's just how it goes on Twitch and other platforms. Once a trend has started, it's kind of hard for it to stop. But again, I don't think this is exactly a trend starter just yet i'm actually pretty curious to know what other streamers and youtubers are planning to use this software as far as i know this software is pretty expensive so more than likely you won't see everyone doing it but you will see the more well endowed youtubers and streamers probably trying it out at least once from what i checked a vtuber model goes from 500 dollars to two thousand dollars depending on what sort of quality you get. Now that's no feasible feat. That is a pretty penny that you have to spend for that VTuber license. It seems like Pokemon's VTuber persona was donated to her, so I'm not sure about that one. But rest assured, if she gets up in quality, she has paid a pretty penny for that thing. Thank you to your three subs. I wonder if you can make an OnlyFans with a VTuber persona. Hmm, that may be a venture that I might cross, fellow cringe lords. Since you made it this far, don't forget to leave a like below, share to your friends, and subscribe if you're new to the channel for content similar to this. I think that out of most YouTubers, probably the commentary channels can use this sort of technology a little more than others can, since we tend to not show our faces anyways. I mean, I did, but <laughs> I'm trying to follow a trend here, right? I gotta keep up the appearances! But for those of you that are camera shy, more than likely this VTuber stuff will work out for them in the end. But... It's just not for me. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. Honestly, I hope that VTubers don't rise into power because I don't really care to see that stuff. I prefer the human interaction rather than talking to a robot or a simulated person. But, you know, rest assured that I'm not going to get one. I don't have the funds for that. The best I can do is probably this. Hey, it's me. I'm choking Anakin's and I can walk and stuff, but I'm still the same Chad underneath. However, I don't have a 3D model of this just yet. Maybe in the future. I don't know. Bye.